Okay, so this is my latest Hot Wheels haul uh, for July 21st or, or middle of July 2016. I got the uh, Ford Shelby Cobra concept done in red. Um, let me just put the camera down. Yeah, this one I'm, I'm putting this one out. Yeah, this one looks really nice. Yeah, I'll keep it. This one is for Alex and Danny, the Turbot, the Carbonator. I don't have that. Uh, BMW M4 done in white. Eh, not too bad. We got the Renault Sport RS01. This one's okay. Uh, I love the red on the wheels and the silver, but yeah. Toyota Supra double colors of the wheels gold and white orange uh windshield that's a little bit weird predominantly black with the blue tempos not too bad not too bad um, yeah it looks great mazda i'll keep one carded uh this is a new model for 2016 2015 mazda mx miata the convertible Yeah, not too bad. It's actually pretty nice. We'll we'll keep one carded. Yep, brand new model for 2016. It's not too bad. Wait, it's not focusing. Okay. Yep, basic glossy red. Ford Focus RS. Now this one is from the video game. Should probably keep this one carded. Uh, it's a mediocre uh, car for me. Minecraft, not really into this, but I, I picked it up just because it's it's like a pop culture kind of thing. And you could put a Lego or a Minecraft figure inside. There's those soft things that will keep it in place. And the treasure hunt uh, for the M case. These are on M cases. The uh, Dino Riders T Rex Troyer, and that's the there's the Circle Flame logo right there. So you can see it. Okay, right there. And that's it. Uh, sorry for the lackadaisical review, but this will probably be, be my last Hot Wheels basic cars assortment haul. I'm, I'm think I'm done with this line. I just came from a hunt. I was trying to get the. Uh, yellow submarine and the Nissan Skyline red one <clears throat> but I came across a collector and we were both waiting for the shipment now for this particular store if you watched my episode two uh, episode two of the toy the toy chef I mentioned that Hot Wheels Mattel toys are, are run by are imported by Rich Prime and Rich Prime also has a business of, of children's wear and they have a store an outlet like a brick and mortar store that sells children's wear and they occasionally put a couple of boxes of Hot Wheels for this week they're, all their stores they only got one box and I went to their other store and some guy had picked some old geezer had picked the uh, yellow submarine and the Nissan and I go to the next door and he was there and he's like waiting for the uh, the shipment to arrive and I know there's only one box and I was asking the manager I've been here I've been asking for weeks now and you're gonna give it to this guy and they said this guy has been here for weeks too and I asked the guy dude do you already have do you already have it the the, the yellow submarine and the uh, Nissan Skyline and he says yeah but I didn't get it from this store I got it from another store and I said and he says yes yeah. and I said do you think I can have the one for this store because you already have it give other collectors a chance and he says that's beside the point I was here first and I was like what the fuck right sorry about that um, what the hell I said what the hell <laughs> I mean what the heck man I mean, and I was like um, he says that's beside the point I was here first I'm gonna get it you just talk to these managers and I was like are you gonna give it to him are you gonna give it to me I've been to your store like this is the fifth time I've gone to your store and you told me the shipment's gonna arrive today and they said oh I, I don't know we don't want to decide because he was here first and I think it's because he's he's been shopping there longer that's what I'm giving and I was like you know what 
I, as a decent human being, I was asking a favor from this collector, and yeah, I help another collector. He didn't, he didn't want to help a fellow collector. He just cared about himself. And honest, quite honestly speaking, um, I'm, I'm sorry that this review is a rave. It's turning to be a rant and turning out to be a PG-13, R-16 type of video. But I'm just frustrated. The, the worst Hot Wheels collectors are the ones here in Manila. Um, they're you know they're scalpers they're hoarders hoarders I get it they get it it's a psychological thing they need to fill up their space they need to get as much as they can and they hoard it scalpers yeah they get a couple and they make a buck out of it fine but in Manila scalpers and hoarder scalpers and hoarders they're one and the same they, they, they're hoarders and they're in the same time they're scalpers they're, it's the worst combination and I know in other countries they're also hoarders, they're also scalpers here and there. But let me tell you this: the worst is here in Manila. Uh, everybody's an entrepreneur, and you know I, I've been through I've been to a store, and they're like, like, like I pick up a couple, but I leave one or two on the peg. Like this one is a, not a very popular uh, uh, treasure hunt. Nobody's picking this one up. There were like five on the shelf. I got two, so really, one I could open up and one I could. I could just keep in packaging, which reminds me, I should open up one. Uh, yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. The one with the worst worst packaging. See, I, oh, there's a treasure hunt. It's a treasure hunt. That's the reason I pick up a couple. So I can open up one for you guys and keep one carded. Now, I've been through a, a show, like a, a, a toy show, a toy con. I was digging through the boxes. Now, a fellow collector wanted to dig in, and he saw me with a couple of uh, Lamborghinis and... Yeah, a couple of other cars and he says dude do you think I can have one of the Lamborghinis I go yeah sure go ahead um, one of your Harleys you're done in black yeah sure I give it I mean I even offer him like what else do you need and we become friends um, I, I go to another uh, event like there was like a big Hot Wheels sale and one guy was looking for a Ford Fiesta the one that the, the, the Ken Block one I had one in my hand just one I already had one at home and I want another one to open up and he says Dude, that's the last one uh, I've been looking for. Do you think I can have it? I go, yeah, sure. I got one at home. I mean, I'm not the type... I mean, I get several cars, but I get them for myself. I, I, or I get them for a friend. And if a fellow collector right beside me is looking for one, I give it. Um, if it's just me in the store, sure, I get a couple here and there. And then I, when, I, when I get out, I, I, I have friends who need it, I give it away. I mean, I sell it, what how much I got it for. Even Sometimes I, I even sell it cheaper. So it's just frustrating that there are people like that, especially here in Manila. And in Manila, it's, it's very hard to find the stuff you need. Because unlike in the U.S. or in Europe, where fresh cases from a hotel are delivered to the store and open up, here, as I mentioned in episode two of The Toy Chef, Rich Prime, is the major importer of Hot Wheels cars or Mattel products. They bring it to their warehouse, they got a list of significant cars and they sort it out, they pluck it out of the boxes and they call up their clients and the clients come to the warehouse and they buy. I don't wanna do that, I wanna buy stuff from the store. So whatever is left, sometimes if it's a big store, they put in a treasure hunt or so, other times they don't. They save the treasure hunts and they have an auction, you have to buy 10 of these these basic ones you have to buy 10 of these and they'll allow you to buy one treasure hunt which is unheard of in the rest of the world sometimes they have a blind auction they give you a bag of 10 cars they, they guarantee one is a treasure hunt but you don't know and everybody bids like crazy and what if you get like a, a super treasure hunt that's not even like it was like a, a fantasy car you don't know it's ridiculous collecting hot wheels in the philippines is like the most difficult because it already gets hoarded in the warehouse of the importer and it still gets hoarded on retail the collectors here are the worst they're hoarders and they make money out of their hoard so they're the scalper hoarder combination i think only happens here in manila i mean in some countries they do but it's the worst is here so with that being said i am done with the basic line and and my next toy show sorry about the yes i need to show this uh there are bins right here. These are the treasure hunts. Those are the back there is the uh, the European cars, right there. Let me get rid of this. Uh, it's the European cars. They're all gonna go. Matchbox cars. I'm gonna sift through them. Maybe save a couple that are sentimental, but 90% of those they're gone. I'm gonna sell them off in my next toy show, 
Um, the next major toy convention is probably in December or in September. All of these, um, these are the Dodges, uh, the Vipers, the Chargers, uh, Fords, uh, Corvettes. Out here are the Asian, uh, the um, yeah, the Asian cars. Uh, they're all gonna go. I'm going to save the rubber rubber tires and the entertainment cars. Yes, I'm gonna save those. Uh, I'm gonna be picky with my retro entertainment. Marvel and Star Wars are definitely keeping them because of their Marvel and Star Wars. But most of these, like that, makes up 75% of my collection. They're all gone. Um, I'm selling them. I'm, I'm just sick and tired of collecting this thing. I, I know, I know, I'm being a big baby about it. I, it, it that's life, but it's just so frustrating. The cars are already. Um, difficult to come by and you meet people that are just so selfish and this guy this guy I, I was talking about he's like 40 something 48 early 50s he's old you think he'd mature but and help a collector a fellow collector but no I mean I, I go out of my way to help people and you meet people who are just selfish I guess that's just the way the world is but um, I, I'm, I apologize for the rant but I'm done with Hot Wheels on my next show they're gonna go I'm gonna sell them at one third retail price now retail price if you live in manila uh you're gonna want to watch out for this uh, my sale of these cars uh these go for last year they were at 100 pesos now they're at 130 now a peso is 47 pesos to a dollar about 50 pesos to a dollar so you do the math um <clears throat> the uh the current rate is going for is about two dollars fifty cents uh, yeah, about two dollar fifty to almost three dollars. I'd like to sell them for a buck each. Now you might say a buck each is still just regular in the U.S. Yes, a dollar is just the normal price, as or a euro or in the in in Europe. But here in Manila, nobody sells Hot Wheels at a dollar. They sell it. Hobby shops would sell it for a buck fifty. Uh, but I'll be selling all of these for fifty pesos, which is about a dollar. Uh, so if you're in Manila, and you go to the next big toy show. The next, the biggest one is, is happening again in June next year. But I might just consider joining the September one or the December one, just so I can get rid of this shit, this this, this crap, this this these things. Apologies, uh, but it, it's I'm just so frustrated, and I do apologize for the rant and and, and for my language in this review. But uh, my my advice, if you're starting out collecting. Uh, Hot Wheels. The best place to do it is in somewhere else that's not the Phil that's not in Manila because here, it's the worst. We have the worst distributor. Uh, they they pluck out the the boxes, the cases. They're already open when they get to the stores. I mean, they just reseal them, uh, and you get collectors that are just selfish, crazy, and self-centered. They don't they don't really care about the hobby. They just care about themselves. And, uh, yeah, I've, I've said too much. So there you go, folks. That's it for me. My, I'm sure my good buddy Randy, he's going to be super thrilled that I'm quitting this. He's, he's, he's the one who's telling me to quit this thing. My wife, he's gonna, she's going to be relieved. I'm done with a basic line. Um, yeah, I, I am kind of too. So there you go, folks. Apologies again, and thanks for watching.